Today we'll discuss several rules for creating plural nouns. The first rule that we'll look at is how to form the plurals of most nouns by just adding an S. Here are some singular nouns. Tree, river, shoe, pizza, duck, and convoy. To make them plural, I would just add an S at the end. Trees, rivers, shoes, pizzas, ducks, convoys. Another rule is how to form the plurals of nouns ending in S, X, Z, CH, or SH by adding ES to the end. Here are some singular nouns that would require the application of this rule. Glass, fox, maze, beach, and bush. To make them plural, I would add an ES at the end for glasses, foxes, mazes, beaches, and bushes. Proper nouns usually follow this rule too. So if you have a name such as Gomez, you would add ES to the end when making it plural. Here are some more examples. The Rosses, the Birches, the Walshes, the Joneses. Another rule to form the plurals of nouns is applied when a noun ends in Y preceded by a consonant. You change the Y to I and add ES. An example would be the noun sky ending in Y. There is a consonant letter K before Y, so I can drop the Y and add IES to form the plural noun skies. Here are some other singular nouns that would require the application of this rule. I have city, story, party, county. Notice there's a consonant right before each Y. So to make them plural, I would drop the Y and add IES. Another rule to form the plurals of nouns is applied when the noun ending in Y is preceded by a vowel. You just simply add an S. For example, the word boy ends in Y, but it has a vowel before it. In this case, you would not drop the Y and add IES. Instead, you just add an S and the plural will be boys. Here are some singular nouns that would require the application of this rule. You have monkey, tray, holiday, highway. To make them plural, I would not drop the Y and I would add an S at the end. Another rule to form the plurals of most nouns ending in F is applied by adding S. If you see any double consonants or vowels, most of the time you just add an S at the end of the word, such as cliff. Cliff becomes plural by adding just an S. But the plurals of some nouns ending in F or FE are formed by changing the F to V and adding either S or ES. Like the example thief, it becomes thieves. Notice how roof has doubles. In order to make this plural, I would just add an S. But for the word life, I would drop the F-E and add V-E-S for lives. What do you think you would do for loaf? I don't see doubles, so I would drop the F at the end and add V-E-S for loaves. Another rule to form the plural of a compound noun is applied by adding the S at the end of the noun. Here are some different examples of compound nouns. I have a hyphenated compound noun, sister-in-law. In order to make this plural, I would add an S on sister for sisters-in-law. I can also look at a compound noun that's two words, lemon tree. I would add the S after tree for lemon trees. And the last one is a one-word compound noun in basketball. I would simply add the S at the end for basketballs. Another rule to form the plurals of nouns ending in O preceded by a vowel are applied by adding an S. The plural of many nouns ending in O preceded by a consonant are formed by adding ES. Stereo is a noun that ends with the letter O with a vowel that comes right before it. To make it plural, you would just need an S. Another example is patio. Notice how there is a vowel before the O, so to make it plural, you would simply add an S. Take a look at the noun hero. It has a consonant before the O, so you would need to add ES at the end to make it plural. It's the same for the noun tomato. Because there is a consonant before the O, you would need to add ES on the end to make it plural. However, there are some exceptions that you will need to memorize, such as burritos, photos, and silos. Additionally, there are some musical terms and instruments that end in O, and in order to form the plurals, you would just add an S. Here are some examples. Cello, concerto, soprano. Just add an S at the end to make it plural. To form the plurals of some nouns ending in O preceded by a consonant, you may add either S or ES. Here are some examples. Mosquito can be spelled with an S or ES at the end. Tornado and volcano. The following are plurals of a few nouns that are formed in irregular ways. So you wouldn't add an S at all. If you look at man, the plural would be men. Goose would become geese. Child would become children. Mouse comes mice. Foot comes feet. And deer remains deer. 